Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World. In the last episode we went straight through the donut planes, we did all we had to do there. There's other things we can do there, but we didn't find any donuts, crucially, which is very annoying. In this episode we're gonna start with the vanilla dome. I like vanilla flavoured stuff. People always say that vanilla flavoured stuff tastes really plain and boring. It doesn't. I kind of like it, okay? It's, it's, I'm, it doesn't make, actually makes it sound really boring and really dull. That I like vanilla flavoured stuff. I, I just do. Vanilla flavoured ice cream is actually quite nice. It's not as boring as people say it is, which I think is a bit of a shame. What? I, okay. Hang on. Now, you see, that's the annoying thing. I'm playing this on the Wii, Wii U Virtual Console, and there is a button there which makes it um, kind of go to the Virtual Console menu. And I keep thinking it's the button for the spin jump, which I think in the GBA version, the version I grew up with, is R, is one of the shoulder buttons. And the shoulder buttons don't do that, it's A or something, or something, is it A? It's A on the Wii U version. That's a little, you can understand why that confused me a little. You know, it's a bit of a strange thing to have. I, did I even stop that shell? How did I stop that shell? I don't know. But how are we doing, guys? I'm doing pretty well. I've just got done recording the video you probably saw yesterday. I think if my timing's correct with how my videos are being structured on this uh, on this Mario month, nearly said Zelda month, that would be really bad and insulting to everybody. I apologize for uh, screwing around with you with the Zelda month thing, but I just, I wanted surprises. Surprises are oh, the spice of life, or oh, is that variety? I'm not sure there's a shell. Oh, yeah, shell didn't hit me. Everybody calmed down. I can go up there, but I've got... I, oh, I forgot they don't do anything against the spiky enemies. Oh, well, I have to be clever now. I don't like being clever. Use your intellect to save mankind! That didn't work either. That wasn't clever either. <laughs> okay, whatever. You know, who cares? Who cares? We got Mario. Mario can do many things with what he's got, even if he hasn't got all that many power-ups. Get off. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Whoop! That didn't work. Duh! Oh, that didn't work either. I feel like I have to be... <laughs> I just don't talk. Can't actually go up this way if you're small, which I guess is a much easier way than the path which is littered with spiky enemies of, of death and destruction. Don't know why I wasn't doing that more often, but whatever. We're back. We're back here now, guys. We can. I can talk. I kept dying to really dumb shit, which I guess is appropriate. This is this is a very strange level. Oh, that was that was that was nearly smart. Nearly very smart. Uh. I'm just gonna end the level. <laughs> oh, okay, that took a little bit longer. I do like van the vanilla dome. It's a strange area. It's suddenly a bit more unusual. It's a cave area. Cave area. I just like cave areas. Is that just me? Is it just me who liked cave areas in the entirety entirety of the world? I don't know. I remember this level very well because this has a secret exit to it, which I never knew how to get to because I was an, an idiot or a, or a special kind of moron. I don't know. I was, I was a kid, okay? Maybe kids are morons. I don't know. Kids are kids are underdeveloped. Let's go with that. It makes it sound a little bit creepy. Let's go with that. I need to, yeah. Fireballs work underwater, by the way. I'm not sure about that, but it, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. Who cares? Who cares? They're pretty good. Not against these guys. But they are pretty good. I need to, yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking I have to get the, the dragon coins for whatever reason. They give you more points. I'm not sure why you ever would. But, you know, if you want, if you're so inclined, I forget how I need to get the secret. I think I vaguely remember how to get no. I don't want to do it. Do I want to do it? I forget. I forget. Uh, I want to probably go up this way. I need to remember how to do this so I don't fuck it up. If I don't fuck it up. Yeah, here we, here we go. Okay, so we need to take it this way. Get rid of this. What does this give me? Actually, that, that gives me a fire flower. More fla more flowers. More fl flyer flowers. Flyer flowers. Go down there. Kill the fish. Who cares about the fucking fish? Where's the key? Where's the keys up there? I don't have to. I'm not timed for this, am I? There's no, like, blocks in the way. How did I die? Oh, I forgot there was a cape feather here. That works very nicely. I mean, fire flowers are very good underwater because they give you a projectile. Uh, I actually might just do this, yeah, that, that's better, because it, it, it keeps it, it knows the priority, it knows the Cape Feather is the best power-up in this game, or oh, I nearly stood on that, that'd have been a bad idea. It knows the, the Cape Feather is the best power-up in this game, but um, it, it, it'll also, you know, stick it in the select slot if you have to, I don't know, it doesn't matter. The most important thing, though, is I've actually managed to work out what my select button is from the last couple of episodes, is in fact my minus button, I don't want to run into you people, I want to go over here and use my key! on the keyhole unlock that secret which again I didn't really know about for the longest time but it's another red it's not another red switch palace it is another switch palace 
I... I didn't want to do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's, okay, I'm going this way. Going this way. Fuck it. Um, I've, I've kind of ruined my high score already. Because it's supposed to kill all of them. And it'll give me a one-up. But fuck that noise. Fuck that noise so hard. That's... Oh, that, that's... Infuriating, infuriating, and very angry. But Red Switch Palace, that's good. It's encouraging. Encouraging in indeed. This is just the episode where I die in the dumbest ways, and I'm, you know what, I'm okay with that. I I'm perfectly okay with that, because it means in the rest of the LP I will not die in dumb ways. Which, you know, Mario World, you can die in a lot of very strange ways. Most of them will be falling off the bottom of the screen or off the top. You, you can't die off the top of the screen, can you? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Smash Bros, but, um, yeah. Whatever, I don't care. Anyway, let's finish this level properly, and there's a football player runaway. I'm getting out of there, I'm not interested. That's the halfway point. <laughs> I just went straight past the halfway point all those other times. Didn't really want to get a fire flower, but okay. Whoa, that just about worked. That just about worked. I'm getting out of here. Fire flower, replace my cape feather. Oh no, I, I, I can manage. I can manage, he says in an optimistic tone of all the fucking parrots in the world trying to kill me. Not a big fan of all the parrots in the world trying to kill me. But you know how how the work. Oh, this is this is where these guys become assholes because they turn into multiple football players. Oh no, they can be their own team. They can be they can become their own team. That'd be amazing. Oh, they, they should do that. Have, have they done Mario American Football yet? I'm not sure they have. They are. They must start to run out of Mario sports games. America, um, America, um, America, um, America, America. Football? I'm trying to make a like a- it doesn't work, does it? Let's go to a haunted house! Let's be scared! I remember this one being really annoying. Not so much because it's confusing, because the ghosts are evil sons of bitches in it, from what I remember. And I don't like that. Not in my Mario game, not in my whatever game. Don't like ghosts being assholes. That's a bad thing. There's also giant ghost! See a giant ghost. Give my regards to Mrs. Jo Mrs. Giant Mrs. Giant Ghost. That's how you say that. Mrs. Giant Ghost, get out of here! I don't want, don't want any part of that. There's draw distance. Draws it. Draw distance with the with the ghosts. Got to work on that. You can't just have them coming out of nowhere. It's a little bit frightening. I think I've done that okay. That room was fairly simple. Ah oh, no, the green, the green blobs of something. I don't. What is this? I want to get out of here. Cape, cape feather, cape, cape feather, take me away. Not interested in these green blobs of nothingness. Actually, I want to be somewhere down here. Is it this one? I, I would laugh. Yes. How did I do that? How did I do that? It's one over here. Here we go. It's an evil trick. Put the P but you put the P switch down, and it actually shows you the exit you need to go to. But it's covered in like blocks because you did it too 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 early. It's an asshole move. But it really is. But once you know it, once you know it's there, once you know the trick, they do it a couple of times as like a fake out, like a double, triple fake out or something later on in the game. Once you know you've seen it once, and you understand what it is, you just start understanding the things they do in the ghost houses, and what's the- Oh, yes! It's the Blargs! Hello, Blargs! Are they actually called- they are called Blargs, aren't they? Blarg! Blarg! Blarg smash! Blarg! Blarg eat! Or whatever. I love the Blargs. They're, they're so, so delightfully derpy, which is an interesting a bit of alliteration, but I don't know. They're kind of a cute Mario enemy. Just like, hello! Give me your- Something. Give me your peanuts. Give me your peanuts, boy. Makes you sound like I'm an elephant. I'm an elephant now. He's over there. I can just like, wee, no, wee. <laughs> you can just spin jump on them. He's like, ah, ah. Oh no, you can't. Can you? I thought you could. Game. Did you lie to me? Was that a GBA thing? I don't know. Hidden block. They're 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 not cheap or anything. But okay. Give me a give me a cape feather. Had enough of my fire flower. Give me a better power up. A a more consistent power up where I can. Slow my fall and do all those sort of things. I don't know. Have a shell. Have a shell. Row of pl piranha plants. I'm getting out of here. I've got to be. Oh, I've got to be smart, haven't I? I don't want to be smart. This is Mario World. Strange things happen in Mario World. Strange things that science cannot explain. That's why I like this game because things happen in this. Actually, I want to go down here. In this lava world, we suddenly have an ice bit. For, why is there an ice bit in this lava place? It's even got like the cave. The cave sound. What's happened to this get? What happened to this level? I think, is this got a- yes, it's got a cape further. Things I remember about this game. I suddenly remember. Look at Mario run. Running on the ice physics. Oh, running in the 90s ice physics. Whatever. Oh, oh, scary. It's still going. It's still going. There we go. I didn't want to do that. But there's, there's Yoshi. Hello, Yoshi. Also, while I'm actually talking about Yoshi, I'm going to presume, because I'm recording these in advance, people are having a go at how I pronounce Yoshi. Just remember, which is why I'm bringing it up now, I don't give a fuck. 
Uh, it's how I deem to pronounce Yoshi. I'm going to keep pronouncing it that way, and there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, Mario is another one. Mario versus Mario, that's just how English people pronounce it. The reason why I say English people and British people and that sort of thing is because there's a player, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the soccer football argument in there as a reason as to why I pronounce it in that way. There's a player who plays f football, soccer in the UK called Mario Balotelli and that's, that's how every single person in the UK pronounces it. Bye Yoshi, I missed you. Uh, overseas in America, they do pronounce it as Mario, so you guys are just wrong, okay? I don't know. I don't know how other people pronounce it, like Italians pronounce it, but whatever. I don't even care. Why'd I bring that up? Um, I'm just gonna... I need to get that cape feather. I don't want to die. I don't want to die, guys. Can I... Can I... No, this hasn't got a pipe. I'm looking for secrets. As if I need secrets in this game. As if I'm, as if I'm hunting secrets. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna finish the level. Get 29. I wanted, like, 30. I think you can get 50 on those end goals. You can get... You know, 30, then 40, and then 50, if you get it right at the peak of the goal thing. Bonus game! Oh yes, let me do amazing at this one as well. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Yes, no, I did so well with that first jump, and then everything else went to shit face. Fucking, I don't know, give me that, give me that last one. Give me that last one, let's just get it over. I got one! No! I'm gonna get whatever, is it nine? I think it might be nine one-ups, if you get all of them in arrangement that they're all the same. I'm gonna try and do that, it's gonna happen, it's gonna be beautiful, and you're gonna like it. I don't know, Vanilla, Vanilla Dome 4, an area which I do kind of like because it introduces these springy platforms and bullet bills that come across the screen, and they're not so bad now, the bullet bills at the moment are just, you know, a bit of a nuisance, you can actually follow them and say, hey, you're gonna still try and hit me, still try and hit me, you're not gonna do it, but you can still try and hit me, they're not so bad, love the sprunging platforms, they're pretty cool. Is this got a, it's got a thing, it's got a cape feather, I've always got time for a cape feather. Give me that cape feather. Whoa! That was that was a little bit too. Ah, oh, I was I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Give me that. Fuck, give me that cape feather back. God damn it! Uh, go over there. I'm not doing too badly. There's a very high. Look at this. Look how high this shit is. <laughs> very high midway point. Not sure about that. But okay. This is the thing I remember about this level. They start off with just firing two bullet bills. Then they fire four at you. Four at four of them at you in every direction, which you know is pretty cool. I want my cape feather so I can slow my descent down. One of the best things about this power-up that you can actually just go wee and be amazing. It's like Peach has her has her like thingy jump, the the, the thing where she slows not slows down, where she like flies in midair briefly. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oh, I'm gonna lose my my fire flower. It's going in the no. That's annoying. Yeah, cape feather's pretty pretty cool. These bullet bills are gonna come out in a second and be really annoying again, which I you know I'm I'm not a big fan of. I'm not. Particularly, I just want to get to the goal! Oh yes, 29. I want to get that 50 at some point in this Let's Play. Because when you get the 50, 50 is just worth it. It's, you know, you get two of those and you've got a bonus game again. From zero. Which is incredible. I'm not all sure... By the way, is that the size of the level? The size of the actual, like, circle in the overworld? I don't know. All I know is the ones which are red always have a secret to them. Which is why... You know, oh, this is annoying. Okay, this is where I wish I still had a power-up. I need you to shoot. Shoot me without shooting me, please. Don't, that, that's not shooting without shooting me. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> this is bad. This is, there we, no, that didn't work. Get, I wanted, no. No, this is bad. Get down on the pre, on the lower floor and shoot up at me. You asshole whiz rope thing. Get, come on, get on with it. Thank you. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. Let's let's get, let's do this level now. Now that the the stupid fucking cami cami magic Cooper thing is done having fun. Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care. Watch watch me not. Whoa! Watch me not care. I didn't want to fall down there. I, I killed the the magic Cooper though. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go there anymore because I've just <laughs> got rid of all the all the coins. That was dumb. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll keep it for now. It dropped Coopers on me. That was a dick move, and you know it. Uh, go, go, just run. Run away! Run away from the magic man! The scary magic man! Where did the magic man touch you? I don't know! He's got a magic wand! Where do you think he t No. <laughs> this got- this joke went south really quickly. I don't know. I- whatever. Just get on- get on the- the, the scary up and down lava platforms. I never- never were a big fan of those. Very scary. I also don't like how in a lot of the levels in this game requires you to be a daredevil with your jumping skills and a daredevil with your timing skills at the risk of either being crushed or either being put into lava or anything like that. You know, it, it does wear a little bit on your on your um, 
I don't know, your nerves. I was gonna say your heart, but you gotta have the heart in the first place. Give me that, give me that mushroom. I need that mushroom. Mushroom's important. I'm running out of power. I'm not actually running out of power. It implies something is low on power in my general vicinity, and it's not, because everything runs off the mains, looked away for a brief second, nearly got crushed. Nearly got crushed. It's frightening. Absolutely frightening. That does that go that doesn't go all the way down. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> nerves. Nerves are fun. Nerves are a lot of fun. Uh I'm gonna keep going, keep going. In interchanging with these little like what are these? Are the dry bones? Dry bones, but not dry bones. I don't know, but I'm gonna go get a get a get a magic green makes you glad actually that we got the green the green switch palace and we got this boss fight against is it Lemmy? I forget if it's Lemmy, where he's got fake versions of himself or whatever what these are supposed to be. I don't know, and he's got one of these fire things just going around being assholes, being assholes. Oh dear. Get him there, get him there, there we go, it's one down. And you can't just stand still either, because he can actually just come up and annoy you, which is really, you know, annoying actually, funny enough. Uh, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna concentrate, gonna concentrate! No, that didn't work. Gotta get my, gotta get the mushroom, gotta get the mushroom, need that extra hit. Really do. I don't like this boss, by the way. It's very annoying, there we go. Down, no, I didn't get far enough. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. Because <laughs> it's very easy to go kind of alongside him and get hit by it. There we go. Very easy to just go not hit him directly because he doesn't cover the whole area of that pipe. Whatever. He's down. Vanilla Dome is down, which is encouraging. I like that. I'm just saying everything in this game is very encouraging in a good way or whatever. We got another egg. Was the last one yellow as well? How are we going to get rid of this castle? This is a, like a running joke. It's a hammer! Gonna hammer that thing to the ground! Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Cooper. Was it Lemmy? Did I say Lemmy? Of castle number three. Mario's quest is starting to get much, 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 much more difficult. Didn't want to say it like that. Have you found the red and green switches yet? I have indeed. Uh, that makes the game a lot easier, having the, the switch palaces. Doesn't even mention the yellow one. I didn't want to do that either. I, I touched the back part of it and it, it ruins my, whatever. It ruins my enjoyment of the game. But whatever. Doesn't matter. That's that castle down. We did so many levels today in this episode. Go through the pipe. Actually takes up us takes us up here, which we're going to do in the next episode. So this has been Rebel Luigi. This has been Let's Play Super Mario World. And in the next episode, we're going to make a start on... The Cheese Bridge area, very str one of my favourite levels actually, but very strange little bit of the game this. I may have to find a way of making it a bit longer because there's three levels including the castle of this area. Okay, so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Take care.